I'm Thomas Molinaro. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at RMA of New Jersey. A frozen embryo transfer is uh, a method in order to uh, use frozen embryos to achieve a pregnancy. During a frozen embryo transfer, uh, a patient may take hormones to prepare her uterus, or a natural cycle may be followed in order to determine the appropriate timing for implantation of an embryo. The actual embryo transfer is a procedure that is short and relatively painless, similar to a pap smear. And typically within eight to 10 days of the transfer, a pregnancy can be detected. There are interesting data to suggest that frozen embryo transfers may be more successful today. One reason is because during fresh uh, stimulation cycles, um, the hormones of the stimulation may change the pattern of the uterine receptivity. This means that the hormones from the egg stimulation may actually make the uterus less receptive to an embryo implanting. During a frozen embryo transfer, we have the opportunity to correct some of those imbalances, and thus it may actually be uh, more successful in the long run. The other reason to use a frozen embryo transfer is to use pre-implantation genetic testing. In order to use pre-implantation genetic testing, embryos must be cryopreserved in order to have the right time to analyze the embryo biopsy for genetic results. Because of this, embryo transfers have to be performed in a subsequent frozen embryo transfer. Finally, there are also some interesting data to suggest that frozen embryo transfers may have superior pregnancy outcomes. So there are interesting studies now which demonstrate that frozen embryo transfers have better outcomes in terms of relatively lower rates of early delivery, low birth weight, and preeclampsia. At RMA of New Jersey, we use frozen embryo transfers as our standard of care for all patients undergoing IVF. During a frozen embryo transfer, the uterine lining should be prepared using a combination of estrogen and progesterone. The estrogen may be administered through oral tablets, through intramuscular injections, through patches, or even through vaginal suppositories. The estrogen causes the endometrial lining of the uterus to thicken, and then when appropriate, progesterone is started in order to make the lining receptive to an embryo uh, implanting. Um, the progesterone can be administered vaginally or can be administered intramuscularly. 